Hello and welcome to Cleveland Classic Cinema. Today's feature is Ed Wood's 1959 film, Night of the Ghouls. Night of the Ghouls is sort of a quasi-sequel to 1955's Bride of the Monster, although the only thing returning from the latter movie is the old Willows place, Lobo, and unfortunately, Kelton the Cop, who is, unbelievably, even more annoying in this movie than he was in the other. Night of the Ghouls concerns the activities of a fake medium who calls himself Dr. Acula, say it quickly, that is bilking a number of recently bereaved and incredibly idiotic rich people with his fake seances. Unknown to Dr. Acula, however, he's a little better at coaxing ghosts out of the woods than he thinks. There's a real ghost walking around the place moaning and killing people. After a middle-aged teen couple making out near the house is killed, the police do nothing, but after the white ghost scares an old couple, they snap into action immediately. This being an Edward D. Wood Jr. movie, it's filled with all of the things we've come to expect from Eddie. Nonsensical dialogue, questionable motivations, annoying characters, cheap sets, and a denouement that makes no sense at all. In short, it's classic Ed Wood and a joy to watch. Night of the Ghouls was made in 1959, but didn't see the light of day until 1983 due to the fact that Wood couldn't pay the lab bill. The finished film sat on the shelf until producer Wade Williams rescued it from obscurity and released it on an unsuspecting public. Naturally, I went out and bought a copy of the movie immediately since I collect Ed Wood movies and enjoy inflicting them on my friends and relatives. Kenny Duncan was born in Chatham, Ontario, Canada on February 17, 1904. He appeared in 244 movies over his long career, starting with 1928's Police Reporter. His last film was 1977's Buck Rogers. He appeared mostly in westerns, usually as a heavy or a thug, and appeared on TV 47 times, again, mostly in westerns. He died from an overdose of barbiturates on February 7, 1972. Duke Moore appeared in six movies during his career, all directed by Ed Wood. He died of a heart attack on November 16, 1976. Valda Hansen's first movie was Night of the Ghouls, and she appeared in four other movies, her last being Wham Bam Thank You Spaceman in 1975. By all accounts, she was a very sweet, if slightly spacey, young lady. She claimed to have been 16 when she appeared in Night, but her birth date is listed as November 3, 1932, so it's more plausible that she was 27 at the time. She could also be seen in Flying Saucers Over Hollywood, the Plan 9 companion. I already covered Paul Marco's career in my intro to Bride of the Monster, so I think we can skip giving you details on that loser. You can rest assured that he's even more annoying in Night of the Ghouls than he was in Bride of the Monster, and if, for some unfathomable reason, you want I Love Kelton the Cop bumper stickers and t-shirts, they're still available from the Paul Marco fan club. If you want to know more about Marco, and I can't imagine why you would, he has an official website at www.paulmarco.com. Tom Mason, also known as Dr. Tom, was a chiropractor in Los Angeles when he was discovered by Ed Wood, who immediately cast him as the recently deceased Bela Lugosi stand-in in Plan 9 from Outer Space. He didn't look much like Lugosi, so Wood told him to hold his cape over the lower part of his face when he was on screen. He appears in this movie, Sans Cape, as the ghost of Wingate Foster. Jerome Charles Criswell King, a.k.a. Criswell, was a fake psychic who was once a radio personality. He had a few minutes to fill one night, and so just for something to say, he predicted snow or something, and it came true. People suddenly started asking him for predictions, so he became a TV psychic. He never claimed to be a genuine psychic, and some of his predictions would bear this out. He predicted World War III would start in 1975, the Supreme Court would have only female justices by 1976, and that the woman of St. Louis, Missouri would turn bald in 1983. As you can tell by his performances in this film, Plan 9 and Orgy of the Dead, he acted as well as he predicted. Tor Johnson was a professional wrestler known as the Swedish Angel and appeared in three Ed Wood films, Bride of the Monster, Night of the Ghouls, and Plan 9 from Outer Space. He had a limited command of English, and as far as I know, I had only one other line of dialogue in a movie other than Plan 9, Time for Go to Bed in the Unearthly. 
For those of you in the viewing audience that are Ed Wood fans, let me promise you that I am doing my best to bring every available Ed Wood movie here to Channel 23 to grace our show. When it comes to film, I believe in sharing misery as well as wealth. So right now, sit back, relax, and enjoy Night of the Ghouls right here on Cleveland Classic Cinema.